Welcome to this Khan Academy video on expectations. So you might be asking, why do I have a house here? If we remember at the beginning of the year, we talked about two different houses. And at least early in the year, I would ask you, what kind of house am I expecting? What kind of house are you building? And no one wants to live in a house that looks like this, that's not done, that has no windows, that has no walls. And this is what some of you are building me right now when it comes to Khan Academy. You're putting up a couple two by fours and then you're done. And you're telling me that you're done. How are you telling me that you're done? You just stop for the day. You don't do anything else. You just stay right there. So we're going to talk about expectations. We're going to talk about how I expect houses to be built here in math class. So this is a student view. And as I told you in the last video, I have enrolled as a student. I've called myself David. It's my middle name. So I've enrolled via a different account. That way I can complete all the assignments that you complete. So here is my page when I log in. As of right now, I had 100% and I have since finished this up. Now, what does this look like as a teacher and teacher view? Well, when I first logged in today into my teacher account, I hadn't done these two assignments yet. They weren't done. I have since finished them. I have actually you know, finish this one first. And that's why this shows up as 100% and it says try again. And I have since finished that one. But this is what it looked like when I logged in. This is what I see. I First of all, I see if I click on the class, I can see all of your names on a gradebook page. And I can see all of this. It'll e either be highlighted green, red, or it won't be highlighted at all because you didn't do it. So when I look at this right here, if I click on my name, it takes me to my individual page. And this has got a wealth of information. For example, it says right here that I attempted the first one once and I got them all four correct. I'm done. I don't have to do anymore. But if you notice right here, I had to attempt the second one twice in order to get 100%. Now, the third one, which I only have a 50%, and you notice it says try again. I have to try again. The expectation is you try again. I've only attempted it once and I got two out of the four wrong. What that means is I have to use the video to get help, or I've got to use the hints, or I've got to learn from what I got wrong so I don't have to keep getting them wrong. So the expectation is that if you don't understand what's going on, you can always email and ask for help, but I expect you either to watch the video for help or I expect you to use the hints. And if you use the hints, you won't get credit for that assignment. You're going to have to do it again. So I don't want you just to go through and click, 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 and you're done five minutes later, four minutes later, two minutes later. If you're just clicking, it could be less than 30 seconds. Say, I'm done. I've done all the problems. What kind of house are you building me? I expect a good quality house. So I expect you to get the help that you need. And that's either going to come from me via an email, or you're going to use Khan Academy, the videos, or the hints to help you out. So what happens if I click on one of these. So as a teacher, if I click on these, I see things that look like this. Now, I can toggle between the first and the last attempt. So the last attempt says I got them all right. Because if you use the hint, it'll show you what to do. Then eventually it'll give you the answer and you have to type in that answer in order to move on. But you notice right here where it says 75%, where did I score there? So if you look over here, the first attempt is how I answered it the first time. And if you notice, I got the question wrong the very first time. And there's always groups of four questions, at least in these assignments. So I got this one wrong, but I got the next three correct. So that's why I got a 75%. It would say try again. Now what I did is I had to try another set of four. Once I get this next set of four, you'll see later on that this switched over to 100. So that's what I expect to see. That's why I want you to try them again. So it, it'll say that I attempted it twice and you'll see that a little bit later on. So what else can I do? What happens? What other information can I find here? What happens if I click on the activity log? Well, the activity log tells me how much time and effort you put into Khan Academy this week. Now you can't just log into Khan, go watch an hour of TV, eat lunch, come back and have Khan say that, oh, you were working on it for an hour and a half. It won't do that. If you're not actively engaged, it's not counting the time. So over the last seven days, you can see that it gave me 20 exercise minutes and 20 um, of total learning. So it basically tells me how much time I put into it. So if you're getting scores of only 50 and 75 and you stop and you just leave, one, 
I'm going to be able to see how many attempts you tried. So here it says four out of four, three out of four, two out of four. But if I go back to this page, actually this page right here, I can see how many times you have attempted it. Plus, now if I go to this page, I can see what you had right, what you had wrong. And then if I go to this page, I can see how much time. So if you only got a one out of four, or in this case, a two out of four, and you can see over here that I spent five minutes. But if you have, remember, I expect the expectations, you're putting about 20 minutes of work in a day. And that 20 minutes is not bad, considering you have class for about an hour and 20 minutes each day. You're only putting in 20 minutes. So you're really you know, not putting a lot of time into, but that's into your work. It's not, well, I'm going to log in. It's going to take me five minutes to log into Khan. Then it's going to take me another five minutes to find my assignments. Oh, I only have 10 minutes left. Uh-uh. I expect 20 minutes from the time you get logged in and you start Khan Academy. So I would expect to see from you at least 20 minutes from today. Because you notice, well, what I'm in here says last seven days, but I can toggle it to today. And I can also look from the dates and how much time you put into it. So I'd expect to see 20 minutes yesterday, 20 minutes today. So, and today being a Tuesday, I expect you to put in 20 minutes on Monday. Now, if you're getting them all right, and it's not taking you very long, let me know. I want you to be challenged. I want you to learn. So let me know, and I can assign you different problems, ones that are going to challenge you more. So I know it's very tempting to say, well, I've got 100% all of them. It only takes me a minute to do it. I'm done. But are you really learning? Are you really growing? And that's what I want you to do. I want you to grow as a student. I want you to learn more skills. So when I look at this page right here, now you can see I finished this and it shows up here. And I've actually done these on two separate computers. And within seconds of when I finish one, it'll show up on my teacher account or my teacher view. So if you're at home and you're finishing something up, if I refresh my screen within you know, a few seconds, I'll see that you've finished it. So now you can see that I've attempted this a second time, but I've only attempted this once. So here, now I've tried it and now I'm completely finished for the week. And you notice it took me two attempts to get this one. So what do we see from your end? So first of all, this is what you, these are a couple different screenshots that you see. So if you're working with a problem here, you notice there's four dots down here. Right now, you can see that that second dot right there is not highlighted. That means it was wrong. That's why I only have three out of four correct. And sometimes it'll say, oh, you're done. Well, I'm done with this set of four. So once I hit show summary, this pops up and it says three out of four. I would expect you to get a four out of four. This will show up as a 75% on my screen. So I would expect you to do it again. And I want you to get all four of these green. I want you to, when you hit the summary, you should say four out of four. So it's not necessarily four in a row, because if you back up, I got this one right, I got this one right, and then when I went to this page, if I get the next two right, technically I got four in a row correct, but it's not asking you to do that. It wants you to get four of this series correct. It should say four out of four, and on your page, you should see 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. Once you've done that, I'm satisfied. Now, again, I'm going to give you a little bit of a break. If I go to this page and it says that you worked on you know, this activity for 20 minutes, this one activity for 20 minutes, I'm fine. I'll count that. Yes, you worked hard. Now, I can also see if you've used hints. I can also see if you've watched the videos. I can also see if you just left for a while, went to watch TV, because it wouldn't show up as 20 minutes. So this says five minutes, but if I went and I ate lunch and I watched an hour-long TV program and I came back, it would still only be five minutes, because I wasn't working on it that whole time. So again, the expectation is that you're working hard and you're getting good scores. You're getting 100% on all the skills. So in my book, on my screen, I should see this. I should see hundreds here, and I should see hundreds here. And when I click on this right here, I should see that you're putting adequate time into it. If you're finishing up 
two a day because I signed two for Monday, two for Tuesday. If you're finishing all those up and you're only spending 10 minutes total in two days, you're not working the way you should be working, or at least you're not challenging yourself the way you should be challenging yourself. And you should be emailing me, asking me for uh, some more rigorous work. So make sure you watch this, make sure you're meeting expectations so that way I know that you're growing and you're becoming the best student, best math student you can possibly be. Thanks.